to the next generation of dreamers. If we can do this, just imagine what you can do. Yay! A message to all the dreamers from Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson. He took off into space this morning on a test flight to demonstrate his company's plane made specifically for space tourism. As CBS 2's Mark Strassman tells us, those spacations won't come cheap. Welcome to Space Unity 22. This is the moment Sir Richard Branson took one giant leap into the space tourism business. During this test flight, Virgin Galactic rocketed its space plane Unity into the final frontier, and Branson became the first person to blast off in his own spaceship. He beats Amazon's Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin into space by just nine days. A complete experience in lifetime. Virgin Galactic's mothership carried Unity to about 45,000 feet. Release, release, release. Then the space plane dropped, rocketing up at Mach 3, more than three times the speed of sound until it reached the edge of space. During several minutes of weightlessness, Branson and everyone aboard reached a peak altitude of about 53 miles over the New Mexico desert. This test flight was a marketing bonanza for Virgin Galactic. It hopes to start taking paying customers on space joyrides starting next year. Main gear touchdown. When Unity touched down, the British billionaire got what he has chased for nearly 20 years, his astronaut wings. The whole thing was just magical. The mission statement that I wrote inside my spacesuit was to uh, turn the dream of space travel into a reality for my grandchildren who, who are here, for your grandchildren, uh, and for many people who are alive today, for everybody. Branson never stops promoting. His latest is a sweepstakes drawing for charity, two seats on a future flight to the edge of space. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Virgin Galactic has more than 600 reservations from eager space tourists, with tickets initially costing $250,000 each.